what a great day of basketball it's been so far. Some highly competition between all the teams that have played today, but right now we got the Drexel Dragons and the VCU Rams. A long three-point shot by Hobson, and that's good. Nasaskaitai thought about a three-point shot and said drives baseline, puts it off the glass and in. Barber working to give it off to Hurt. Hurt with the two-point shot. Great shot there, and it falls through. She was effective in making contact, but just unable to finish it. Hurt the turnaround jumper, and that's good. A great shot by Hurt. Checking Crane with the ball, gives it off to Wooten. Wooten with the long two, that falls through. 15 seconds on the shot clock, trying to find down low. Takes the shot, it falls through. Ayana Lee with the shot. And she'll go to the line shooting one. Nasa Skyte doing a good job of keeping her feet, not going for the ball fake. Quickly the other way, Ayana Lee off the glass and falls through. The depth perception in here is uh, quite unique in comparison to a lot of the arenas that these clubs play in during the regular season. And Mershon drains the three-point shot. Hale now with it, working around, gives it to Nasa Skyte for three points. Nothing but net and count it. 25 to eight in favor of Drexel. They lead this one by 15. Nessa Skyte down low. Nice little spin move off the glass and in. Drexel always seems to challenge the broadcasters with the name now and again, like Gabrielle Marginian. Parks goes down into the paint, lays it off the fingertips, and that falls through. Eight seconds on the shot clock. A cutting, Mershon lays it up. And that's two points for her, make it 30 to 12. One of the differences is between Drexel and VCU with the ball movement. As Nasus Kaite gets the feed down low, and she lets that fall in. You got Hobson creating some space, some open real estate on her own, but again, could not finish it. There's there Hurt powering through. Mershon with it, gives it over to Nasus Kaite, down low to Hale. Hale lays it up, that falls through. They run their execution. They spend a lot of time just passing the basketball around, never letting it hit the floor. And there's a good, good thing for the Rams that happens. Hurt drives baseline. And the ball gets stolen away quickly the other way. VCU, Barber lays it up, and it falls through. 40 to 25. Drexel leads a three-point shot by Hobson. Nothing but net. Crane with the ball. Working against that pressure. Finds Nasaskaite underneath the basket, and she lays it up. Carter for a long two, no good. Rebound, pick, gets her own rebound. Gives it to Barber who goes up with it, no good. Rebound by Hurt, she lays it up. Gonna get fouled and will make the basket. This second half, but seems like that might have kind of gone back down. Yeah, you know, one of the big challenges, oh, there's a nice three-pointer by Barber. Gives it back to Barber, to Hobson, wide open, three-point shot, nothing but net, count that one. Five minutes to go left in the second half, and Mershon drains the three. The bench and get some of the fresher legs out there, and see if she does this with some others. Hobson's shot goes off the backboard, and in a lot of emotion, she gets fouled on it. Game number eight of the 2012 CAA Championship. A shot by Barber, no good. Rebound picked up by Hurt. A great shot. So leads by five. Inbound pass goes to Barber. Quickly the other way, a three-point shot. And she nails it. 1.1 on the clock. Drexel leads by two points. Three-point lead. All she needs to do is make this one, and you can write this one in the books. She makes that second shot. VCU, not much you can do. There's no four-point play. Nope. Inbounds pass mishandled by VCU. They won't get a shot off, and Drexel will win the eighth game of the 2012 CAA Women's Basketball Championship presented by Virginia 529, 65-61.